So it broke. After one use, I took it out to a gig with me on the weekend and I had it in my bag here just like so and it was just, you know, sticking out the top because the tablet holder itself didn't want to come off of the gooseneck so I just had it like that as I usually have like my mic stand attachment sticking out just a little bit so this ended up sticking out quite a bit which is the base and then the top was sticking out like this and I was really gentle with it and I pulled it out of the bag once moving to my second location and I heard something fall off and I was like, what was that? And I looked and I'll show you up close, but basically a corner here had snapped clean off and the lever that actually tightens it was uh, in amongst this bag somewhere. So I don't know what happened, but I now have this broken tablet holder. I can't 100% say that I didn't perhaps do something to damage it, but I was being so gentle with it because I was like, it's brand new, you know, I've got to take care of it. So I really don't think that I did, but this is what's ended up happening. So I'm going to try and return it and see whether they'll give me my money back because $39 is a lot of money in terms of getting something else. <laughs> I've been researching for hours uh, to try and find a good alternative and I still haven't made a decision because a lot of items I'm finding are attached by a ball joint which I've not had much luck with. Others don't have uh, the clips when you turn it into portrait mode, there's nothing to support it, don't want that. This one, I did find some cons in the first set when it wasn't broken <laughs> to using it and so now I'd like to avoid those things. In my review I said that it was quite hard to get these little uh, clips to disengage and so I didn't even bother engaging them on the weekend as I was needing to do a quick move to a second location. So I avoided that, but then I just feel like it's difficult to put the tablet in and take it out and shrink it back down. It's just not ideal. Gooseneck still, I'm, I'm all for this. It feels really good. Uh, the base, the base spreading the legs of the base is not easy. I find the extra working parts just make it a bit more clunky, like it needs to be, say, oiled up to actually move smoothly. Yeah, I just wish, like, the tablet piece here could be taken off and stored better within my kit. And I've also had suggestions from um, someone about attaching it into my keyboard stand. Now, I've looked at a whole bunch that attach onto mic stands. That won't work for me because my mic sits, like, here. So if it attached onto the, the stand, it would be here and it's not, I need it here, you know. So that's not going to work, but I could put another little attachment in and then attach something like this onto it and be able to, uh, to see it. So I'm looking into all my options, but unfortunately there's just so many bad reviews out there on even things that you guys have recommended. <laughs> so it's so confusing and... Like, I don't have that much money to put into things, which is probably why I end up with things that break. So, yeah, hopefully I can get my money back. I'm going to pop it in the box and uh, fingers crossed for me, guys. Because I really don't want to have wasted $40 on this. Like, I try and find a way, if they won't return it, to use some pieces of it. But, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Please let them take it back. Please have them take it back. <laughs> so I'm just going to move you in close and show you the damage. Okay, I'm hoping that this is going to read. Yeah, you can see it there. That that big old crack and it's like all the way into here under the lever. Yeah, there we go. So there's the piece. There's the other piece and yeah so I'm gonna go around to cash converters this afternoon and I'll let you know how we go actually just looking at this there's another part that has a crack as well so you can see just here there's another crack not very good 
well, that was a no-go. I've brought it back to my local store because I bought it at one that's like 40 minutes away and uh, they're owned by different companies. Like one's a franchise and one's a family business. So they're uh, not able to refund me here, but they did say I have a 90 day warranty. So that sounds like I should uh, be able to at the other place. But yeah, now I'm figuring out whether I wanna do that drive today. Is there anything else I can like do as well that's in the same direction? So it's not just going to that store. Cause we're talking like an hour 20 of my time and petrol to return a $39 thing. Well, I just made a call to the Clovelly Park cash converters and they said that yes, they can give me a refund. Uh, so I'm gonna make the 40 minute drive now. I've got two hours and about 20 minutes till I need to be at the vet and you know 40 minutes either way that's an hour 20 so basically there's an hour there for traffic and getting the refund sorted and stuff so I've just got enough time and then once I'm home I guess I get started with some of the other things on my list um, but yeah better get going now well, I made it here. I've now got an hour and a half till I need to uh, be at the vet. So I'm going all right for time and I've been in and they've refunded me and yeah, no harm, no foul, I guess. I mean, there was extra driving involved and all of that, but could have been worse. So uh, now I'll have to continue the search and try and yeah, figure out what my next move is in regards to getting a decent tablet holder. Why is this so hard? <laughs> I just thought there's a music shop which is basically on the way home and I think I'm just gonna quickly go in there and see what professional tablet holders they have and the prices. Uh, I won't have that long to stop, but you know, at least then I'm checking an actual store, seeing the, the product, um, having a feel of it, and uh, yeah, not just online because I'm not doing well with trying to look online at the moment. So I'm gonna do that, I'll see you over there. So I am back home again now. I've been to the vet and I've come home and I did end up buying something at Derringer's and I'm really keen to check it out and see whether it's gonna work for me. But I am gonna do that in a separate video. So if you're interested in seeing me unbox what I bought for a tablet holder solution uh, for my setup, my keyboard vocal setup for busking, uh, please make sure you subscribe down below with notifications turned on so you're notified when I upload the next video. It will be the following video after this and I'm hoping to get it up in the next couple of days. So it shouldn't be too long of a wait till you see what I've ended up buying and fingers crossed it is good. <laughs> I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.